Hello fifth grade, welcome back. Today we're going to review about the activities that we did the last class yesterday and I want to begin by showing you my example of an autobiography and it's super short but remember I, I told you that you needed to make your own longer by for example explaining us you can add information about your family, about if you have siblings, a brother, a sister, uh, if you live with your family, if you live with your brothers, who do you live with? So, I told you that you needed to use the verbs from the vocabulary and they needed to do be in past, like in my example. So, um, I want to show you that today we're going to be practicing uh, new phonemes, phon phonetics, um, we are going to be learning them on the student's book on page 26 and we have them right there and we are going to begin by the activity uh, in that page in this activity 22 and as you know these are only about pronunciation and it says listen, read and repeat Students book, page 26, activity 22. Listen, read, and repeat. One. Jet. Jet. Two. J. 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 Three. G. 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 Okay, so that's it. Now we are going to go to activity 23 and it says listen and blend the sounds. You know these kind of activities, we do them every unit, every year. So we are going to repeat uh, the words, the vocabulary that has the phonemes that we are learning today. This is about practice, this is about pronunciation, so I want you not to be ashamed or not to be embarrassed so I want you to repeat this because uh, if you don't do it it will it will be useless students book page 26 activity 23 listen and blend the sounds one j a u gel two J, I, N, J, R, Ginger, Three, J, I, M, Jim, 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 Four, J, I, H, S, E. Gypsy five J I R A Giraffe six J E M Gem 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 Okay, so that's it. If you feel like you should listen to it again if you should pronounce it again you can play that part of the video again and it's okay so um, if you feel like you can keep going we are going to go to exercise 24 and it says listen and chat i'm going to read it one time and the next time i'm going to rip i want you to repeat with me so it says a giraffe workout in a gym quick Get him some gel for his hair. Now, I want you to read it with me at the same time. One, two, three. A giraffe, a giraffe work out in a gym. Quick, get him some gel for his hair. So now we're going to listen to the audio and I want you to try to be as fast as it goes. And uh, so let's follow this rhythm. Students book, page 26, activity 24. Listen and chant. A giraffe worked out in a gym. Quick, 
get some gel for his hair. Okay, that's it, super fast. You can go back and play it one more time. So in that same page, we have activity 24 and it says complete the story. Make up the information. Okay, make up, it means that you are going to imagine, you are going to invent a story by writing the words that you want to. For example, it says, Aunt Ellie, Isabel, Isabel, so it says, is a very interesting person. She was born in, you can say, she was born in Germany, she was born in France, she was born in Russia, uh, but her family moved to, uh, their family moved to Mexico, to Australia, to United States. When she was 7, 10, 20, 13, 4 years old. Uh, when she was in high school, primary school, she had a collection of, you can say, a collection of spiders, a collection of toys, a collection of butterflies, uh, a collection of erasers also. Um, it was probably the best collection and the most beautiful collection of the entire world or the whole world. People came from all over the world to see it. Now, Aunt Isabel is 70 years old, is 100 years old, is 80 years old, and she lives in Mexico, she lives in Yucatan, she lives in Progreso, uh, she lives in what other country? In Hungary, she lives in Australia with her husband, with her daughter, etc. Okay, it's up to you to write information that you feel like you should write. So uh, now, uh, activity 26. Uh, take turns with your classmates about their own Isabel story. So, and this activity is up to you. Um, well, you're not to do it with a classmate because, of course, you don't have your classmates by your side. But you're going to answer to it with the information that you wrote. And you're going to answer the questions. Number one, where was Aunt Isabel born? You are going to complete with the information that you wrote. Number two, where did her family move? Number three, where did they go? Four, what kind of collection did Aunt Isabel have? And number five, why was the collection special? Number six, how old is Aunt Isabel now? Seven, where does she live now? And who does she live with? That's it. The next page says, uh, page 27, also exercise 27 says, complete the sentences. Use the correct form of the verb. And you have a box full of vocabulary. Be born, get married, graduate, move. You have number one and the pictures, and it's super easy. Don't forget these verbs needs, need to be written in past simple okay be born was born get married got married graduate graduated move moved estos verbos tiene, los vas a usar para completar el ejercicio pero tienes que escribirlos en pasado si no recuerdas o no sabes cuál es el pasado de estos verbos que ya lo hemos estado practicando puedes revisar las tablas que ya vimos anteriormente o puedes buscarlo simplemente en internet, ¿ok? So, in exercise 28, it says, complete the dialogue, use the correct form of the words. So, you're going to read uh, the conversation between Anna and Ben, and you're going to complete by using verbs and the, the words that they are giving you between parentheses. Some of these are comparative adjectives and also superlative adjectives. You need to remember this topic 
and notice if you're going to write about a comparative or a superlative and um, yes we have another activity and it's on page 12 for the students book for the workbook and it's super easy because uh, most of the part of page 26 of the books was only pronunciation and it's super simple so page 12 or of the workbook says number one activity number one match the pictures with the sentences write the number and you are going to have a b c d and also match it with the pictures one two three four five easy number two answer the questions about your family circle yes or no this information this exercise is about you your family yourself so number one last year why one did your family open a store maybe i would say no i circle no number two did your family move to a new home last year no i circle no Number three, did a family mem did a family member graduate from college? Yes, me. So number four, was a new family member born? No. Number five, did a family member get married? No. And that's it. You just need to circle yes or no. It's super easy and it won't take you so much, so long. So and don't forget, we had pages 26 and 27 for the student's book and page 12 for the workbook. Send a picture to me with your name and the date and it's going to be okay. If you have questions about the topics or if you have doubts um, before the exam comes, you can send a message to me and I'll be happy to answer to your questions or your doubts. So you are going to be ready, more than ready for the test. I'll see you the next time. Have a nice day. Try to send your activities on time and I'll see you. Goodbye.